Gnosticism is a term used to describe a diverse and complex set of religious and philosophical movements that emerged in the ancient world, particularly during the early centuries of the Common Era. Gnostics were individuals or groups who adhered to Gnostic beliefs and teachings. The fate of the Gnostics is a complex and multifaceted historical story that varies depending on the time and place. Here's a general overview of what happened to the Gnostics. Early Development and Suppression Gnosticism emerged in the early centuries of the Common Era, coexisting and sometimes conflicting with orthodox forms of Christianity. As Gnostic beliefs often challenged traditional Christian doctrine, various early Christian leaders and councils, such as the Council of Nicaea in 325 CE, condemned Gnostic teachings as heretical. Persecution and Suppression Gnostic groups faced persecution and suppression by both Roman authorities and orthodox Christian leaders. The extent of persecution varied, but Gnostics were often viewed with suspicion and subjected to theological debates and condemnations. Loss of Gnostic Texts Many Gnostic texts were destroyed or suppressed as a result of these conflicts and persecutions. Some Gnostic writings survived, hidden in remote locations like the Nag Hammadi Library in Egypt, which was discovered in the mid-20th century. Persistence and Adaptation Despite the challenges, some Gnostic traditions persisted and adapted over time. Some Gnostic ideas influenced later mystical and esoteric movements within Christianity and beyond. Continued influence, Gnostic ideas and texts have had a lasting influence on Western spirituality, philosophy, and literature. They have inspired thinkers, writers, and artists throughout history. Modern Revival, in the 20th century, there was a revival of interest in Gnostic texts and spirituality, particularly in academic and esoteric circles. Scholars and seekers began to explore Gnostic writings for their insights into early Christianity and alternative spiritual perspectives. Diversity of Gnostic groups It's important to note that Gnosticism was not a monolithic movement but comprised diverse groups with varying beliefs and practices. Some Gnostic groups continued in secret while others eventually merged with other spiritual traditions or disappeared over time. In summary, the fate of the Gnostics was marked by persecution, suppression, and the loss of many of their texts. However, their ideas and influence persisted in various forms, contributing to the development of Western spirituality and thought. Today, Gnostic studies continue to shed light on the rich diversity of early Christian beliefs and the enduring legacy of Gnostic thought. Here are nine key aspects of Gnostic beliefs. Dualism Gnosticism is characterized by dualism, the belief in the existence of two opposing realms or principles. These are often described as the material or physical world, associated with darkness, ignorance, and suffering, and the spiritual or divine world, associated with light, knowledge, and liberation. Divine knowledge Gnosis Gnostics believed in the importance of attaining a special, hidden knowledge, gnosis, that leads to salvation and enlightenment. This knowledge is often contrasted with mere faith or belief. Salvation through knowledge, Gnostics believe that salvation comes from gaining knowledge of one's true spiritual nature and the divine realm. This knowledge allows the individual to transcend the material world and return to the divine source. Cosmic Archons, Gnosticism often includes the concept of Archons, lower spiritual beings or rulers who are responsible for trapping human souls in the material world and hindering their spiritual progress. Demiurge, Gnostic sometimes referred to a demiurge, a lesser god or creator being responsible for fashioning the material world. The demiurge is often depicted as ignorant or malevolent. Redemption of the soul, Gnostics believed in the liberation of the divine spark or soul trapped within the material body. Through Gnosis, the soul could escape the cycle of reincarnation and return to its divine origin. Eons, Gnostic cosmology often includes a complex hierarchy of divine beings known as eons, emanations from the ultimate, unknowable source. These eons represent various attributes or aspects of the divine. Sacred texts, Gnosticism is associated with a rich body of literature, including texts like the Gospel of Thomas, Gospel of Mary, 
and the Nag Hammadi Library, which contained teachings attributed to Jesus and other spiritual figures. Individual Spiritual Experience Gnosticism emphasizes the importance of individual spiritual experience and direct personal connection to the divine. This is in contrast to organized religious institutions and hierarchies. It's important to note that Gnosticism encompasses a wide range of beliefs and practices, and there is no single, unified Gnostic tradition. Gnostic ideas and texts were influential in the development of early Christianity and have had a lasting impact on various spiritual and philosophical movements throughout history. Do you have any suggestion for future videos? Leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.